What's going on, family? I'm Scrapbook Boxing. Museum of the Forgotten Fisticuff Series. I want to continue to examine 100 years of world championship fights. Roger Mayweather, 22 years old, stood 5 foot 7 and a half inches, weighed 130 pounds, and had a 73 and a half inch reach. He had a record of 17 wins, no losses, and 11 knockouts. Coming into the bout with Rocky Lockwood. He was stopped in the very first round with an overhand right hand. Oh my God, what a punch that was. Now Rocky Lockridge, he stood five foot six and a half inches, he weighed 129 and a half pounds, and he had a 67 inch reach, he had a record of 32 and three, with 26 knockouts. My God, what a fight that was. Roger Mayweather was known as the Black Mamba, Mexican sex, knocked out six Mexicans. He was coined the Mexican assassin. Rocky Lockridge had held the WBA Super Featherweight Championship belt. Got that crown by knocking out Roger Mayweather. He was from Washington, D.C. He would reside in Patterson, New Jersey. Let's take a look at the bout that took place between Rocky Lockridge and Roger Mayweather. Three judges, Harry 
Now, Ray, Mayweather is not snapping a jab. That's his problem. Because if you bring the left jab back slowly, Roger Mayweather is going to get caught with Rocky Lockridge's famous overhand right. So if he jabs Rocky Lockridge, it has to snap, and you cannot go towards your left side. You can't go towards Rocky Lockridge's right side. That's a recipe for disaster. And unfortunately for him, that's what will happen in a few seconds. You have to bring that right hand, left hand back, excuse me, if you're Mayweather. He has to snap the jab for the first three rounds. Ah. Good night, Irene. This fight was over before Mayweather hit the canvas. My God, and that was his third title defense. RIP to both men. Outstanding fighters. Salute to Lock Rocky Lockridge and salute to Roger Mayweather. I remember this night like yesterday. Nothing like the second row of a fight, I gotta tell you. Scrapbook Boxing Museum of the Forgotten Fistic of Series. All great fights and all great fighters will never be forgotten on my channel. Roger Mayweather gets knocked out in the very first round by Rocky Lockridge. 100 years of world championship fights will continue. Peter Rocky Lockridge. Hell of a fighter. Harold Letterman and Tony Castellano. The timekeeper is Fred Abatello. 
counting for the knockdowns at the bell is Johnny Lobianko. And your referee for tonight's 10-round heavyweight main event is Tony Perez. Well, ladies and gentlemen, here are the principles in tonight's 10-round heavyweight main event. In the corner, to my left. He hails from Los Angeles, California. He wears dark blue trunks trimmed in white. He weighs 225 pounds. Here is the former WBC heavyweight champion of the world, Ken Norton. Norton. His opponent in the corner to my right undefeated in 24 professional fights with 21 knockouts he hails from Huntington, New York 225 and a quarter pounds he's decked out in all green with white and red stripes gentlemen Jerry Cooney 10 rounds final contest of the evening in one round will end the fight, not 40 seconds. The bell will not save anybody from being knocked out, right? If the fight is on the floor, please don't come in. That call for disqualification. I to do that. So stay away. Wait till the fight gets up, then you go have it, right? Any questions? Shake hands. Good luck to both of you. Now this fight was originally supposed to be on the undercard of the uh, Wolf of Benitez and Thomas the Hitman Hearns. And you also had Lupe Pinter and Wilfredo Gomez. You're supposed to also have a unification light heavyweight championship crown title defense for the WBA WBC against Eddie Mustafa Muhammad and Matthew Saad Muhammad. I explained in another video what happened with that card. Let's take a look at this fight between Ken Norton and Jerry Cooney. A right hand buck of the knees of Norton by Jerry Cooney. First punch of the fight. You can already see that Ken Norton cannot take the punches of Jerry Cooney. Left hand to the stomach, and another right hand. The this fight will not last long. Stands on the ropes. Left hand to the heart by Cooney. Norton bangs away now at Cooney in Norton's corner. And another left hand scores it again. The legs of Norton wobble. Norton has heard his own... Corner. Norton has to get out of this corner. This is two uppercuts for scores. He will die in this corner if he doesn't get out. Oh, my God. Woo! And finally slips to the corner. He is not going to go. Oh, my God. The fight is over in 54 seconds. He needs medical attention. And down as to the punching power of Jerry Cooney. Ray Leonard, I think that doubt was put to bed right here. All right. Cooney went out of the gig. Pretty much what I expected. But that was very dangerous when... He was able to deliver it five, six plays, and the referee just stood there. I think the referee should have stopped the fight a lot sooner. Norton was almost in a position where he was unable to... Tony Perez, poor refereeing in that fight. Position in his own corner. He risked the health of Kenny Norton. Gary Cooney punches too hard to take a chance on a man's health like that. Almost as hard as Max Bear. Norton was out of his feet. Norton is still on the floor in his own corner. The first punch that hurt was the first punch of the fight, and it was a right hand that caught Ray or Ken Norton right on the side of the head. Well, I was going to make a comment earlier about uh, Jerry Cooney not having this respiration on his body that he had not warmed up. But as we can see, uh, he didn't need to warm up because he possessed so much strength. And I'm pretty sure this is going to silence a lot of the critics that Cooney has one hand. Well, I don't think there was any question about it right from the start of the fight. Cooney hurt Norton with the first punch. Now, I don't know. You may have to go back and you say, was Norton really prepared for this fight? Because the first punch of the fight buckled his knees. Well... This reminds me of the night when I was at Madison Square Garden and I witnessed Donovan Razor Rudder deliver a smash to the jaw of Michael Dynamite Dokes. He was out for seven minutes. Frightening experience. Let's take a look at the next video. 100 years of world championship fights. Just off the top of your head, how would you compare Jerry Cooney right now to Larry Holmes? Well, Larry Holmes still has so much more physical attributes. Holmes can move, Holmes can punch, Holmes can 
Mark has a good jab. Whereas that, we, we really, I think we're very curious to see what Jerry Cooley can do with a guy that is mobile and really a good technician like Larry. Well, of course, tonight is a great indication of the punching power of Jerry Cooley. There's no question about that. As far as stamina, how far he can go, what he would do against a champion like Larry Holmes, that still remains to be seen. That's true, but what he exemplified tonight, I'm quite sure he's in the back of a lot of people's minds. Right now they have brought a stretcher into the ring to deal with Ken Norton, who is just now getting to his feet. There's no question that Ken Norton was literally out on his feet. We will try to get a report and give you a medical report on Ken Norton just as soon as that becomes available. The punches that were delivered by Cooney and the leverage and, and balance that he had with him, I'm quite sure, I can almost say a guarantee that Norton has a concussion. Definitely has a I concussion. No question about it. That's guaranteed. Raining all over the ring. More people in the ring, I think, than in the house here at Madison Square Garden. Jerry Cooney acknowledging some of the photographers standing up in the ringside. Acknowledging the crowd in there. Unquestionably, the crowd favorite. I think everybody just looking at the people around here, right? Everybody has kind of a shocked expression on their face. It's the right. as quickly as it did. No one to go. We're up at the ring now. Let's Jerry, when did you, how early in that round did you hurt him? Well, I hit him with a straight right hand. And I saw him uh, back up and on the ropes. Uh, Victor told me to be cautious at all times. And if I see my openness to go in and uh, work, we worked as planned. Victor was training for five, well, for I don't know how long, up in the Concord. And, and we all get training. And I told you the right thing. Do you, do you feel in some way, Jerry, that the quickness of this fight, <coughs> excuse me, robs you in some way. That people will say that Ken Norton just couldn't fight anymore. Doesn't matter to me anymore. I have my people here, um, my fans. We train hard. Mike Jones, Dennis Ravenport, Victor Valley, and myself. All right, we just love you. All right, what is next? Is Mike Weaver next for the WBA championship? Uh, look to my managers, Mike Jones and Dennis Ravenport. And and, uh, All right, Mike Jones here is nodding and saying that Mike Weaver will be your next opponent for the heavyweight championship. Would you explain to our audience why Mike Weaver instead of Larry Holmes? Well, since I turned professional, I just do the fighting. My managers do the managing. My man here, Victor, gets me in shape. I just leave it that way. Well, they must be doing a perfect job so far. Dennis Rappaport, would you tell us why is he fighting Mike Weaver instead of Larry Holmes? We really didn't have a choice. Our first preference would have been Holmes. Holmes has refused to fight Cooney, in spite of what he said to the media, where he verbalizes one thing, but in fact, it's true. But he came time to sign a contract. He refused to, he, he never signed. The kid was supposed to get back to us three months ago. Me and Mike called him several times. Never got back to us. After he hasn't fought a good young fighter yet. Larry, at the end of Jerry's career, he never goes more than two rounds. Thank the Lord, and we'll be very happy. It'll prove that he's the greatest fighter of all time. Let the, let the cynics ask the same questions when he's heavyweight champion of the world, because that's his destiny, the championship of the world. Thank you very much.